Okay, we back with another blog on pros and cons with weaponry and ammunition, what you should have and what's the difference. We're going to get to it. Let's talk about it. So, what you see we got right in front of us, we got two different magazines for two different weapons. We have the AK-762 ammunition and mags, and we got the 556 ammunition and mags, which you've been seeing a couple of my other blogs back here. We got the shotgun rounds over here, but it's three type of shotgun rounds that we use. <laughs> and we had some of well, one of the hand bullets that we'll talk about. Again, you know, I keep saying this type of product I use to clean. Get your cleaning kit, no matter what you get, whatever works for you. But that's what I use. And we got some more round cases in the box today. So I guess we'll start with the shotgun, ammunition. And what you know what I'm saying, all about grain too. So keep that in mind. The more grain in a shotgun round and all your weapon makes a difference. So on this on this belt holder, I'm gonna call that with it here right now. I know that ain't what it actually called. It's a it's a holder though for sure. Got three type of rounds. Well, I just explained to you verbally. We have bird shot, buck shot, and slugs. What's the difference? Ha! <laughs> There's a difference. So with your bird shot, you know, man, it's like more spread out. You know, it's, it's shoot more smaller stuff. You know, it ain't as much big boy damage. But when you start moving towards buck shot and slugs, we talking about real you knowing same power. And then you got even better type of ammunition to use. They got something like a dragon that shoot out the recall, fire from out the shotgun barrel, but that's something vicious. But buck shots and slugs, them the real deal when it comes, you know what I'm saying, to shotguns. But slugs are number one, buck shots number two, bird shots, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's the peon. So let's, let's, let's talk about it, you know what I mean? Now we're going to move on to the 7.62, the AK, which that's an empty mag, which I use a lot of that for demonstration as far as in, in some of the videos I did. And then I was saying before, we got different type of clips most people like. And this is a preference. Most people like this American, I forgot what the name was, but this came also with, I bought my, uh, I bought the Draco. And we're going to talk about ammunition with that and then with the mad pool. Now, you got different type of bullets. Now, you, the grain in a bullet makes a lot different as far as velocity, as far as the ballistics, as far as all them specific specs, which I ain't going to go into. I'm just going to tell you just the basics. So, now, pros and cons with the AK. You know, it don't matter between the other three little brothers. You got the Micro, Mini, the Drake, and the AK. The difference is barrel side. They all had the same function, the same power, same ammunition. With the AK-47, it's considered to be more durable and more powerful. But as far as accuracy, it really based on the shooter. You know that key thing they always say, practice make better. But as far as... The A, that the M, the the y'all y'all worried with me. As far as knowing the the AR fifteen with the five five six, you know you got two different type of ammunition, which I'll show you right here. You got the standard, you know what I'm saying, which is gonna be fifty five grain in there, and you got that bad boy right there. You got them green tips. Now the green tip is more of a penetrator. Actually, mean like it had it still in inside. So once it actually hit its target, it continues to go through. But it is not a arming piercing bullet. You know what I mean? Only round you'll see that's an arm piercing bullet called black tips. And you won't see that to none of the civilians out here in America or you know, 
maybe some people who can get them for it, but that's more military issue. But they do also use the green tips to the military, but more than black tip would be uh, military giving standard. But the price range change between green tips and standard round round tip. I mean, uh, between your targeting bullets, which would be the standard, cheaper, more expensive. And it's all about the grain. Because in that, like I said, you have uh, a 55 grain in the standard and you have a 62 grain in the green tips. Then we have, when you're using your handgun, got this elite performance ammunition, SIG V Crown 20 jacket, hollow points, certified pistol. That's for, for the Glock 9. That's a good brand to go on for whatever you might use for your weaponry. Now, when it comes to hollow points, a lot of people don't know the difference between that is a hollow point is not like your targeting bullets. Like you get your standard regular bullets, like they more for going straight through the body. Self-defense bullets, which that would be a hollow point, they not going straight through. Once it hits its, hits its target, you no, know, it expands and it bounces through, so it tell it tell more ligament. Uh, a lot of people don't even know that. You no, know, you want to know about your your bullets. So we went from. Shotgun breakdown from that. We went to the 7.62 with the 8K. We went from the 5.56 with the AR-15. We also went with the, the hand standard, you know what I'm saying? That's not the standard bullet, but that is a self-defense bullet, a hollow point. All the extra stuff can always cost more money. Keep that in mind. So, pros and cons between the weapon rings and home defense stuff. So, I would tell you, AK, AR are not good home defense weapons. They are very great weapons. The reason I say that because of the, the grain of bullets that you hit. If you don't hit your target, it's going to go through everything straight through that house. Like, literally. Because once it penetrates, it's like, like, I don't know if you can see, like, the wall. That ain't nothing but sheetrock. Sheetrock and wood. It's going to go straight through that. That's with the 5.56 and as far as the, seven, the uh, 7.62. Now, with the shotgun rounds, I know you hear the classes. Most people get scared here to know us. It be sound fans. I didn't get a chance to speak on all these things specifically in the videos that I put out before. But, bird shot would be some of the best, you know what I'm saying, rounds you put in your shotgun as far as your house. Because if you put a buck shot, they're going to blow the hell out the wall. And that slug ain't playing no game. You talking about grown man stuff like you. But if you, if you good with your target... You know what I mean? Shoot, boy, if, if he had if he ain't had no shoulder, he ain't gonna have no shoulder. Boy, you're gonna look like a zombie when you're done with boy ain't playing no game. And then with bird shot, man, it spreads. So even if you got three, you know, you got say you got three people in your house, man, they got a gun for a certain range and you spread it, but I can hit I can hit two, three of my targets just be between ranges. So I wanted to talk about that. Spread that. Uh I talked about, you know what I'm saying, the uh AK, we talk about for our ammunition. So let's let's talk about uh what else is oh so some of the, the pros and other cons with the AK I know this is with the safety which you probably seen in my other video is like they, they tend to be tight when you pull up and down that kind of be kind of ugly you know what I'm saying kind of kind of kind of struggle with the safety uh what you did see in the, the, the video blog I did with the Draco is I had a uh I had a uh a brace, but I took it off for the video. Now, a brace is not a stop due to the fact that the Drake, the, the mini Draco, micro Draco, and the Draco are considered pistols. You'll want to not change the spec between gun laws. You definitely want to know the gun laws between your state. If there are three type of major you know what I'm saying laws, you want to know the TSA. If you don't know what that is, that's transparent unloaded firearms. Then you got the GCA, which is Gun Control Act. And then there are 20,000 gun laws in across the state, and there are 4,200 federal laws. It's one, it's one major law. I can't remember if it's the F, FFA, uh, FAA. If y'all know that, drop screen below to correct me on that. I mean, I'm not going to go through all the gun laws. You can use your Google to find that type of stuff. I just want to cover some of the bases. Uh, the, Drake, the Draco is very loud. I mean, it is loud. The the, <laughs> the the recall that comes off, but John Hardy flame, but it, it that's 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 a grown man right there. That's a grown man to have in your in your backpack. You can carry you no know, nice and concealed out in the public. 
know all your state laws when you use them. A lot of people don't know that. Even the same thing with the 562, if you have the, the pistol, you know what I'm saying, AR, or you have the, the standard rifle at 556, then you know it got the, the big brother, you know what I mean? That's gonna be that 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 40 cal. I'm, I'm a big bigger buzz. You know, that will come to the channel real soon eventually. You know, I'm gonna bring that's that grown man. Then, you know, you got the Desert Eagle, which you know eventually that comes to the channel too. Like I say, just let's talk about it. Um uh, what other thing I have not mentioned. Best thing always for a house defense gun is a is a pistol. You no, know, it's, it's very between get between corners. All about the bullets. All about all about the grain in the bullet. You no know, saying learn the specs, ask you know your gun. Uh, sell them who sell you. Like you no, know, it, it get very fast now when you get into the detail about what you use instead of what you hand and you think it's cool. I also talked about it one again with the extension, as far as the uh, on them Glocks. That's when you see people be putting them in. Gun, big ass, excuse me, man, you know, cause I got family and kids and uh, I got all kind of variety of people that watch my channel. You know, they just want to see how diverse I can be when I speak. But with extension, that's cute. Like I said, it you can get, it's a 30 round in that extension, but you can get anywhere between, shoot, 12 and 16 round for it jam because the spring don't push it up fast enough to come out when you're shooting per second with a, with a Glock. You know, it don't matter which which model it is. If it's a Glock and you got the extension, that's cute. Just get an extra clip and you, you kill that. I don't want to talk too much on on based on on that that reason. Uh, I know as much stuff I had want to talk and cover in this video. I spoke a little bit about you know certain laws you should know. Definitely. Um, good thing why it is still I stay in the state of Georgia, so you know. Kemp don't cross the bill for anybody who can carry the seal without a gun license. It's a good thing why it is still good to have a gun license wherever you're at it, in your state. If it's still required, you know is that when it comes to purchasing weapons, it's much easier. You don't have to do a background check. Like you, it just makes it easier as far as purchasing. And at the time, no carrying seal, but a lot of that stuff stuff changing. Stand your ground law. Yo, majority of some of the states that had it. It's a lot of changes going through the state. They change. Every so often, I ain't want to put a Zach no year in it, but they do change so ever so often. You want to know your state laws. Um, shoot someone from behind if you don't know that is a no no because they look as a, a person no longer is a threat, regardless of how you see, think before you shoot, don't kill unless you have to. Again, what I should have said in the beginning of the video, I do not promote violence, just self awareness. And things that you should know, because what you think you know, you probably don't know. And what you think you know about weapons, you probably don't know. Learn your weapon. Every weapon is different. Like, take the time to, to break this stuff down. How to use it, how to load, how to ammunition. Like, it's always the reason I wear gloves when I'm loading ammunition. Probably seen that in one of my other blogs. Check out one of my old videos. I got a uh, thing called the U-Loader. You only can order from that site. Um... I think I put in the description below on that video. It's definitely good for people who shoot a lot of rounds. I think you'll like that. Um, I got a lot of other stuff for us coming to the channel. I been mean want to do a review. Actually, I didn't want to do a review on weaponry, but one of my partners, a few people said, hey, you should do a video on ammunition, weapons, and all that type of stuff. Shout out to the sponsors, man, that helped me do this. Uh, they sent off a lot of this stuff to me. Believe it or not, man, they trying to see my vision. No small sponsor, you know what I'm saying? To ZOMP, Twilight Zone, Pen and Picture, Heavy Duty. Hey, I appreciate y'all for real. Like, I tell you, put a thumbs up, thumbs down. If you know you like the video, subscribe. If you ain't already subscribed, you a new comer. Also, man, drop your thoughts and comment below, man. Shoot, I want to hear it. And the most important thing I always keep saying, man, share the video, man. Let my channel elevate. Let me got none on sign. Try to do things like tell me what y'all think, what you want to see. Before I end the video, um, yeah, anything else y'all want to see or know about whatever type of weapon you want, you know what I'm saying, speak on. We can get that to even the bigger boys and all that stuff. But safety is always key, uh, especially when you got kids living in your house. You, know, you need to have a lock safety lock or somewhere where can't nobody get access to none of these weapons man because you can easily go to jail it is easy to get in trouble and hard to get out believe me when i tell you this 
You know what I'm saying? Life experience are very real. Um, yeah. If you have to shoot somebody from the back, don't do it because you'll be more likely to go to jail. Say, and one more little topic I want to note on: if you was in a situation and you didn't have your weapon on you at the time, and somebody was firing at you, then you went to your your car, vehicle, or house, wherever it is, go get the weapon, and then you go back in after them. You know what they're gonna say? That is? They're gonna say that's premeditated because you had time to think about it, and you more likely gonna go to jail if they die. You know, most of them, nine out of ten, you might go to jail. I don't heard other people case that don't die, but I'm quite sure there's more to that story than what they're saying. Please, y'all, when using any of these weapons, man. Learn your state and federal laws. Your federal laws most important, but your state law gonna dictate a lot for us. That state, city, and county. It's easy getting trouble and hard to get a fight. I mean, I see y'all in the next blog, man. Y'all know my slogan: dedication, heart rate, hard. Ah, I'm messing up on my own slogan: dedication, hard work, pay off. No love, power, greater than God. Man, y'all all be blessed. You know what I'm saying? Peace, prosperity. Man, see y'all, y'all. Man, I see y'all in the next blog.